Hello and welcome to Easy Drupal. So this is the final episode of our uh, Drupal 7 to Drupal 9 migration. In the previous episode, you saw me import the images onto my local site, which is this one. Uh, I've also done a bit of tidying up. There is more to be done, but I've got a working menu. I've got working vehicle pages with a related content and you know made it look fairly reasonable it can be tidied up further but at least it's all working all of the contents in there so we can now get on with uh moving it up to live so the live site looks like that similar not quite the same but similar first thing we're going to do is back up the live site just in case it all goes pear-shaped so in my cpanel file manager i'm going to zip everything up in this directory and then delete everything apart from the zip uh, and then replace it with a zipped version of the local site. And then we'll do the same with the database and uh, unzip everything. We should be good to go. OK, let's uh, zip this all up. Select all. Compress. While that's uh, zipping up, I'll just tell you about my new hosting solution, which you can um, see if you visit easydrupal.co.uk basically i've teamed up with a hosting supplier uh, and i'm offering drupal packages uh, with the basic hosting being 4.95 a month and and the standard package being 14.95 a month but with the standard package i help you set up your site and uh, do your monthly security updates so you don't have to worry about that also give you help if you need it okay that's the plug over this is now zipped up we can now delete everything in our site. Now, obviously, this is going to break our existing site. I'm actually going to leave that Google file there because that is needed. Make sure I don't delete the zip file. I've also kept that well-known file because I believe that's got my certificate information in, so I may need that. Okay, right, so I've now broken my old site. So that now won't work. That's good. Obviously, if it was a site that uh, you couldn't have down for any period of time, you'd have to do this at night time or come up with a different plan. There are either other ways of doing it. You could create a site alongside your uh, old site and then just switch the uh, DNS to point to the new site and just leave the other one where it was or other similar methods. Okay, that's that done. Let's do the database next. Okay, let's uh, export that database. Okay, so I now have a local copy of that. So I can go back to here. I'm gonna keep the database because the name is the same. I'm just gonna drop all the tables. Scary stuff, but if you know what you're doing, it's okay. Just be careful you're pressing the right button on the right side. Okay, so we've got an empty database and we've now got uh, an empty website. So we now do the same on the local site, apart from the deletion. So on our local site, this is the local one, we're going to export. I'm just going to rename this one so that we know which one is which. So that's that part of it. Let's zip up the site as well. So I need to do this step from the command line within the Docker container because I've only mapped the modules and themes directory on this instance, probably should have mapped the whole thing. Anyway, it's easy enough to zip it up and put it somewhere where I can get it. Uh, we just need to do a zip command, which will be I will also have to change my database settings because the host on my local system, the DB host will be different, but that's easily enough, easy done. 
in the settings.php once we get the site live. Okay, that's the zipping up process finished. And there is our site, HGC, HGC site.zip. It's quite big. I just need to copy that to a directory that I can get to. Okay, let's copy that over. Hopefully we should now be able to see it in our file system. So there it is in the file system. Just gonna copy that into our downloads folder so all of our stuff is in the same place. So we've got the site, we've got the old SQL, and we've got the local SQL. Okay, let's upload those. So back to our file manager on cPanel. I'm actually gonna download that so that I've got that locally as well. Got to be careful with naming these things. You can end up with the wrong one in the wrong place very easily. And while that's downloading, I will upload the new one, which is this one. And also we need the Drupal. Oh, I can only do one at a time. Okay, so those two files are uploading. Gonna take a little while. I just realized I probably don't need to upload the database because I'm gonna do that through PHP My Admin if it uh, will allow me to. If it doesn't, then uh, I can do it on the command line. Three meg should be okay. Let's have a look at the limits. While that's uploading, we'll have a look at PHP My Admin and we will do an import here, maximum 50 megs, so we will be fine. And then we can do hgcreasydrupal.zip, open that. That should import it into hgcreasy underscore Drupal. Fingers crossed. And while that's doing that, let's have a look at the file manager, which is still uploading. So the database is uh, supposedly importing. I just need to unzip this folder here into the root of the site. Public HTML, extract. That has successfully imported the database. So we're all going good. If these successfully, okay. Well, they have kind of, the only thing is I've got this Drupal uh, folder, which I need to get everything from there and lift it up one level. <coughs> So all I need to do is copy these. Well, actually I can move them just up one level. And now I should have the correct structure. I can get rid of that. And we should be good. I'll leave those zip files there until we know we've got a working site. Okay, so let's have a look at the site itself. Okay, so we have an error when we try and load the page. That is presumably because um, we can't connect to the database yet. So I need to go in and fix that. So we need to um, update our settings.php. I'm not gonna do this on screen because I'll have to show you my password. Uh, so one second. Whilst making that edit, I realized that I'd actually uploaded the wrong database. Okay, let's try and visit the site now. Had a bit of messing around there with the database and the settings.php, but I got there in the end. Oh, really, we have a site. Okay, so we have a function error, Google Analytics. Well, I haven't set up Google Analytics yet anyway, so I'm pretty sure we can get rid of that fairly soon. Let's log in and see how we go. Okay, so we've got a working site. We've completed our migration. This is now live. It looks pretty good. A few things that need doing. Obviously, I've got to sort out these errors, uh, which I will do. I won't do that as part of this series because it might get a bit tedious, but basically that's the uh, process for migrating a site from Drupal 7 to Drupal 9. We succeeded, quite a lot of work involved, but worth doing. Um, brilliant, all right, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, see you soon.